So what would we use electroacupuncture for, for example? Because I think that our, our biggest concern here, again, is infection with needles. And we had an acupuncturist full-time at the hospital, and um, he was not permitted to be using the dry needling techniques in any patients who were on treatment at the time because of their potential low white blood cell counts and their risk for infection. So it was difficult to have ethical approval for the use of the um, dry needling in oncology. However, electroacupuncture was very safe to be used. Um, so there is a study that was done on uh, the neurotoxicity or the neuropathic pain caused by uh, doxytaxel, which is again one of the more commonly used chemotherapy agents, and it commonly produces neuropathy. We discussed that in the course in level one, that neuropathies are so common. So this particular study was trying to use acu electroacupuncture in order to see whether or not it would reverse the neuropathy, the symptoms of neuropathy. And this was a study that actually that was done by our oncology division and a webinar, and it was um, Dr. Barbara Shea, and Elizabeth Hammond, who are in uh, Saskatchewan, I believe, or Winnipeg, and they presented a, a study that was done on 18 breast cancer patients who had received this type of, uh, of uh, chemotherapy and developed a neuropathy. And they looked at sham stimulation versus actual acupuncture stimulation. And the, uh, the, the types of uh, parameters being used, and this is important to note, were two hertz frequency, for 30 minutes and only once a week times six weeks. Now, when we look at those parameters, and it was a crossover design, so patients first received this treatment and then they were crossed over in order to see, and others received sham treatment, and then the second group uh, received sham treatment and others received the actual treatment. Um, so the interesting results is that it was negative. However, the authors concluded that likely the parameters of stimulate, because it was, the results were negative, but they were, close to being positive. In other words, when they did their statistical analysis, first there was only 18 patients, which is a very small population, but most important, they concluded that it was likely the parameters being used and the fact that patients were only being seen once per week. 